Yes. Academia. Gary Carter. Model. Model ADC 98. It's an okay. Well, did break in good. I've had it for a year and a half, so it's not breaking in at all. I used oil. I didn't use oil at first because never use oil on a glove. That's like my number one rule. Like my uncle's one number one rule that passed on me. But yeah, so he said he uses Abilene stuff that did not work because this glove is too tough for that. Academia is extremely hard to break in, so get it on the off season, like early off season, if you're going to get a better glove like this. Cool lacing pattern on the bottom. See it? Really makes it really hard to break in. Talking about when the laces come right here, not on the bottom right here. It's extremely hard to break in, hard hinge to get down. Really hard. Leather's really good. I wouldn't suggest it unless you've handled academic gloves before and know exactly how to break them and because the web is really weird. Webbing is not a usual catching glove. Webbing. It's got like this U shape. Most gloves have a closed one where they have like two X patterns right here. Close off. Two things. Yeah. This one's different. It's almost like a softball one. If there is a post right here, it almost like a modified trap is but never mind. I never, don't even try to say that. Okay. I hate the way it breaks in. Didn't even break in yet, had for a year and a half. Horrible. No, it's not horrible, but it's horrible for a kid who wants a glove who that will break in his way. I still can't even squeeze it away. Kind of. I would only recommend this again if you dealt with them. Can't stress that enough because the lacing is dry. Great for scoops though. I've learned that over the years. Over the year. Extra webbing up here. Extra lace. If you break it in right, it's great catcher's mitt. It's fine leather. Gary Carter praying mantis. It's a pretty good call. Except for the part where you can't break in. Right.